Uh, do you have any religious beliefs? Or are you quite spiritual or anything like that? Oh, okay, religious beliefs. Um, that one there, I've been trying to figure that one out since I was 13. Okay. Um, and that's a long time now. Trying to figure, yeah, so um, I've spent a long time trying to figure that one out. I've literally been through every religion, read every religious book. Um, I not only read it, I literally went and immersed myself into all of these religions. Like I attended their places. I immersed myself and got the experiential knowledge to see which one is the right one. And so far, I don't think any of them are the right one, but that's just my personal experience. I feel like there is truth in them all. And each one brings a different path to the one source. And yeah, I think because of that, I would say that I'm more spiritual, but my disciplines and my actions are based in the last religion that I researched, which is Islam. Okay. Yeah. And there's a word for that, isn't it? Uh, Omnitheist. That's the one. <laughs> I've got omnism. Omnism is the belief. So it's like, oh, right. like yeah. Christianity, Christian, omnism, omnitheism. Like theism is belief. Omni is lots of. So omnitheist. So that's uh, the belief that no religion is truth, but truth is found in all of them. Yeah. Okay, cool. I, I feel like that 100% kind of sums up how I feel. Okay, fair enough. And um, how do you go about kind of checking out all the religions? Do you do your own research, kind of uh, personal experiences, reading the books? Yeah, so I did, I did all of that. So with every religion, I would, um, you know, attend their place of worship, read the holy book, get involved with the people, um, participate in their religious holidays. Yeah. Literally do everything, so gather knowledge, reading, and then through personal experience, through actually being there and getting involved and seeing firsthand what it feels like and what it's like. And I put my all in yeah. and then see what I get from that. And then I kind of like come and go as it flows. Yeah. So the, the one that you've kind of, uh, would you say, feel attached to or um, is Islam? Or? Yeah, so for me, um, Islam is the, is the last one I ended up researching. Okay, right. Yeah, and the way that came about as well was quite, quite interesting. I kind of, um, so I've got like a little private joke between me and my friends. I call God my G, capital G <laughs> for God. So I'm like, my G will sort me out. Anything I need, my G has my back. So, you know, I speak, I speak like that about my God or God or whatever yeah. you want to refer to him as. And um, I, I like to play little challenges. So I done a little challenge. I was like, listen, my G, I've, <laughs> I've done every religion. What else is out there? And I was like, oh yeah, Islam, you know what? If you want me to research Islam, my G, give me a sign. And within 24 hours, um, I get a Quran come from my letterbox. I was oh, wow. like, what? Okay, <laughs> I was like, okay, okay. Okay, that was weird. Let's do one more. If you give me one more sign, then I'll, I'll look into it. So then I get a phone call and um, I get a job offer. But the girl's like, listen, you're going to be the only non-Muslim in the whole building. I was like, mm, okay, I'll say that's two signs. You know what? Best out of three. If you give me three, mind you, then, <laughs> then I'll really look into it. So then um, I showed up to work, uh, literally started like the same day. And um, they're like, look, it's the holy month of Ramadan, like starting in two days. We're literally just going to be praying and learning about the religion all day, every day. Are you going to be okay with that? And I was like, you know what? I'll take that as my third sign. I'll look into it. So I spent the whole month sort of like looking into it, practicing and and, and seeing how it is before, you know, I, I kind of took my shard and committed to it. So what I learned from that, I feel like the disciplines that you, I got from it were really helpful to tie in all my other beliefs. Mm -hmm. So everything I learned from every other religion, I felt like that was the one final thing that just hooked it all together and made it easy to practice worshipping God or the creator or just being in tune with the universe or whatever, whatever way you want to resonate with it. Okay. And where, where did that leave you? Are you still, um, is it kind of still, you know, in a bit of every religion or, you, or would you say you're, you're Muslim yeah. now? Or? So, um, so most of the times, again, it's kind of like my name. I'll scope out the vibes. If yeah. someone asks me, what's your religion? To keep it simple, I'll just say, look, I'm Muslim. Keep it moving. If I see that somebody's seeking for deeper knowledge and I can see that they would understand, that is when I'll tell them, look, I'm like an omnitheist based in Islam. And that is when I'll open up the conversation for deeper questions and deeper knowledge where I would explain my journey. And um, there's like a spiritual festival I go to in the summer. It's called Medicine Festival. 
And this year was, what, there was about um, 4,000 people. Okay, right. And it's a spiritual community. Everyone that goes there is basically spiritual, but from every religion. So okay. they have a guy that, that does the Muslim call to prayer at sunset. Then they have like the um, Native American tribes. They have the, the African spirituality um, tribe. You know, they're doing um, like Orisha worship. Then there's Christians there. There's Jews there. There is everyone and anyone you can think of. But they're all spiritual. That's what ties them together. And they believe that there is more to, the, to life than just what we see, right? So going to these kind of events, seeing how different people interact with the divine and how they express themselves through their own religions. So yeah, attending yeah. these kind of like events and gatherings has been very helpful. Just seeing how many different people resonate. But anyways, I lost the whole trip. <laughs> no, so, do, do you feel quite connected then when you go to these kind of festivals? Yeah, I feel quite connected. Um, I think, especially now where I've been going to them for so many years, like I'm quite established in the community. Like I can just walk in backstage, like people just know me nice. already. They're like, oh, <laughs> hey, uh, walk through. Um, so, so that's quite nice. It's quite a nice community as well, nice people, because you can come there as anything and anyone. You can do anything and people will just be like, okay. Like they'll accept you um, for who you are. Like it's, it's, it's a really, really cool space for healing, um, yeah. for growth. Or for just testing your boundaries. So, like, if you know you want to be yourself, but you're scared because of you know what people might think of you, go into festivals like that because it's um like drug free and alcohol free, so it's just okay, sober, right. um, and you know you're camping in nature. So it really allows you a space to just be yourself. So if you're scared to be who you want to be in your normal setting, when you go to a festival like that, you can literally dress how you want to dress, speak how you want to speak, do cartwheels if you want in the middle of anywhere. No one will think anything. They'll just be like, oh. Cool. So it's very judgment-free. It yeah, it's judgment because wow. everyone's just doing weird stuff. Like even I've I've been like, whoa, that's weird, and I'm judging, and I'm here doing weird stuff, you know. Um, but when I say weird stuff, I, I mean like, um, yeah, they'll just just be dancing like randomly to like the sound of the wind and the trees, and you know, like, all these <laughs> anything and anything goes. And um, because there's so many different kinds of people that go there, they'll have like so many different tents, and each one has a different vibe. So one of them is like drum and bass, raving music all night. The other one's just like peace and quiet and chilling and meditating. And the other one's like a fire and, and this and this. It's a really, yeah, really cool thing. It's quite that's... free, free-spirited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like these kind of things for omnitheists or people that just want to believe in just universal truths, they're quite, they're quite helpful.